Today I'm going to do a review on Scales, Atticus, Scalador, Lord Garmadon, J, ZX, and Fangblade, and General Kozu. So, today I'm going to start with Scales. So, with Scales, I quite like his tail as he's as he's not as he's a general so he's got uh, the tail and then on his tail tail torso you can see these cool like hypnobri patterns and of course he is a hypnobri serpent so that's his tail and then his body is in this particular stance for his staff but what I like about it is that it's got the same sort of patterns as on the tail and when you put it on it links up on the line as you can see and then his head as you can see it's got a good neck if you can and then when you put it on the body as you can see it sort of links up and then his staff is basically a pole with a snake on it that's wrapped around itself as if it's his actual home. And then he puts it on the staff like that. <coughs> and then he got this cool hypnobri yeah place and then as you can see on the staff, it's got a little point on it. And then we've put the Hypnobrice sign on the staff. And then that's complete scales. Quite cool. So I'll put them over here so you can still see them. And then next, we've got General Atticus. And I quite like the colours with the lime, the dark green and the little red slashes. His body is quite like snake looking as you can see it's as you can see it's pretty like uh snaky and then when he joined that up it actually looks pretty cool um and looks sort of like a proper snake and then his head as you can see on one side got normal eyes on the other got a little scar, two little scars on his thing, so he's got his eyes slightly closed as you can see. So, yeah, and then we've got Scalador, which I really like because black and orange go really well together. And it's pretty like rock looking, well, He's a constrict eye general, so it doesn't really surprise me. And then his body is quite cool. He's got like a little metal shield on one side of his uh, torso. And then he's got the orange rocky... And then he's got grey arms that have black hands. And then you join it up and it... This is like prof this is like the only uh, snake that his torso and his to and his other torso doesn't link up. And then his head is really quite sleek as you can see. It's, I really like the spikes and stuff on the thing and it's sort of like got webbed eyes. You can see. And on the front it's got like a little orange stripe and put that there and that's not the end of uh, Skeletor he's still got his weapon so you guess like a spear and then you would have seen the skeleton army put the axe piece there and then another axe piece that goes on top so you've got like a double bladed axe and then put that on there 
like general scales and stuff. And then that's Scalador. Next, we got the Dark Lord, which, as you can guess, is Lord Garmadon. And I pretty like his legs. As you can see, he's got a dark belt that's been ripped and torn a bit. And then we got the same standard of Garmadon's body as the 2012 version. And then join that up, and then the rips on his belt actually joins up with the belt that's pretty tied up on his uh, 2012 version. And then he's got his torso, which is pretty uh, cool and striped, with an extra with an extra two arms. So now he's double armed and stuff. And then same head as the 2012 version. And then he put that on the torso. And then you've got uh, a black helmet, which is pretty tight on his head. And then you've got a bone. And then that's Lord Garmadon. So, and then we've got, finally, we've got someone to save the world. We've got JZX. And then he too's got a bit of belt uh, on his leg. And then he's got one t bit of tie bit belt on his uh, legs. And then when he put the torso on, which has got like armoured arm and an armoured body piece, it, the belt also joins up with the thing the torso and then you've got uh, armoured shoulder pads also included with weapon holders on the back and then you put the shield pads over his, the head and then you get Jay's head which has got like a bit of eyebrow missing and then as for the first version of the ninja suits it had a bit of uh, the, the material hanging off, but today, now, there it's all tied up. So, that's JZX. There's this all like, reminds me of using Ninja Turtles, with his weapon holder, just slide it in there, like that. Now, last but not least, Wait, no, not last but not least, we've got a fang blade, a hypnobrite fang blade, so we've got a hypnobrite sign again, as with a Star Wars handle, which is pretty cool, and then a standard silver blade, and pop that there. So, now, last but not least, General Kozu, Stone Warrior. I really like his legs, because he's got, like, brushes... You can't, you may not be able to see, but he's got little brushes on his legs. And then his body, he's got a little sign of like a sort of spider looking thing. And then he's got another two arm torso. And it's pretty much got a bat on the front, as you can see there. And his head. If you do want to look, it's pretty scary. And then put Cozy to the side and then make his helmet, which is like Lord Garmadon's helmet, except it's red. And then we've got this like sort of like venomy looking top of the hat and put that there. Like that, and then we've got like this mouth cover, and then as there's two holes there, there's two clips on either side that clips onto Kozu's head, and then that's Kozu. So, what do you think 
I think about all these minifigures? Well, I really like scales for stuff. I think that's the most coolest thing about scales. And also, Kozu. He's massive. I just stand him up against Lord, Gar Lord Garmadon. You may not think he's big, but actually, <clears throat> he's massive. So, yeah, he is really cool. And Atticus, I think I like him just as a general, really. And Skeletor, I think, is my favourite out of all. Black and orange go really well together. And I pretty much like his double-bladed axe. So... Yeah, I like Skeletor. And Jay, I... I think he's my favourite ninja, to be honest. I know they say Zayn is a robot and all. But this, I really like Jay. Because... I think he's the, pretty much the most intelligent ninja out of all. And, yeah, I think that's it. I'll be probably back with some more reviews. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Bye.